everyone welcome to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video you are going to learn a very important functional form of regression when we talk about regression the first thing which comes to everybody's mind is the linear regression linear regression is the starting point when you just start understanding regression it's just till there but we are going to have a different kind of equations different kind of forms in our regression where the interpretation of the regression will also change so in today's video i'm bringing you one very important model where i will be telling you what is the interpretation of the slope of the intercept we have and so many different thing what are their uses and everything so let's just get into the video all right so what do we call this functional form as the name of the functional form is log linear model so when i say log linear model it means there is going to be log there is going to be linearity but how one thing which i want to tell you is there are two type of model where we have the same wordings log and linear so you don't have to get confused in them i will be helping you to understand that okay this word when i use log linear in this form it is representing this kind of model and when i'm using log linear in another form it is representing another model of mine so this is the first important and very basic model so okay this is y i equals to a x i raised to power beta 2 this is this so whenever our equation is given in this format you will have a look and you won't even realize that this is a regression function but yes it is so how do we continue over here we are going to take log on both the sides when i will be taking log here so i will get log y i since these terms are in multiplication so if i try to take log on them they will get added so log a now beta 2 power will come in front beta 2 log x i now because if you come here and if you will see okay i am getting linearity but i am getting linearity in log terms like x i is in log y i is in log a is in log my intercept is in log so everything is in log and then i am getting linearity hence the name log linear models that is linearity in logarithms all right so because when we study the assumptions of our regression model we say that my variables the explanatory variables or like when i talk about linear regression in other words we say that the variables should be linear right that is a linear uh, model but when i talk about parameters i always say that there should be linearity in parameters so over here beta 2 is fine it is linear but what about this so what we have to do over here is for log a i am going to assume it as a constant term because a is going to be some number when i am going to take its log value it's going to be a some fixed number so it is constant it's just that i don't want to represent my intercept term in the log format correct so let log a equals to beta 1 now my model would become log y i equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 log x i plus mu i this is my random error term which i have to add correct now this is a model which is linear in logarithms after this because to estimate i can estimate this using ols but to make our things clear to understand what we are actually doing is if we want to represent it in a proper linear format i can even do that because at x i and y i are also going to take some values and when i take the logarithm they will be also be something constant so i'm assuming log y i as y i star and log x i as x i star so my final model would become this equation y i star equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i star plus mu i where y i star is equal to log y i and x i star is equal to log x i now i can estimate this equation 1 with the help of ols all right so if i do that i'm going to get beta 2 as my slope estimator so i can write it like this beta 2 hat as my slope coefficient estimator now what does a beta 2 tells when i talk about linear models 
beta 2 tells me that whenever there is going to be an absolute change in xi, the, what will be the exact change in the yi? That will also be absolute. But here, beta 2 is telling you that what will be the changes in yi star whenever there is a change in xi star. So, beta 2 hat is nothing. It is telling me changes in yi star due to changes in xi star. Now, what is yi star and xi star? I know they are log yi and log xi respectively. So, del log yi, del log xi. Now, what to do next? What, how we are going to derivate our log yi with respect to log xi? I would be getting 1 upon y, now del y upon del x. Similarly, over here, I am going to get 1 upon x because del xi derivative with respect to xi would be just 1 upon x. Correct. Now, if I try to manipulate this equation to get my interpretation of beta 2, I would be doing this thing. So, if I take x to the other side, I am going to get x by y and into del y by del x. So, this formula which I have got here represents the formula of elasticity. Elasticity may we do this thing like we write in this manner uh, del y upon y divided by del x upon x. If I can write this thing like this also. So after this I am getting this. So this is the formula of elasticity. It means the slope estimator over here beta 2 hat tells me about elasticity. So, it tells me whenever there will be one percentage change in xi, what will be the percentage change in yi. So, if beta 2 hat is equal to let's say 0.5, it tells me that whenever xi will change by 1%, yi is going to change by 0.5%. A very important implication over here. I have seen students doing this thing that when they are asked to find the percentage change in y, in the log linear models, they even multiply 0.5 with 100. So they would come and they would say 50% change. But no, the beta 2 over here, the beta 2 over here in my model is already going to give me a value in the percentage changes. It's not giving me absolute change value. So I can interpret beta 2 in the sense that beta 2 measures the proportionate change in y due to proportionate change in x. So, I do not need to convert beta 2 into percentage by multiplying it with 100. It is already in percentage in this case over here. Very important implication. Alright, now where do we even use these models? We, we have learned it, but where do we actually use them? So, the economic application of log linear model is in the case of production functions. So, you all do production functions where we talk about the elasticity coefficients of my factors of production, my labor, my capital and so many things. So, this model over here helps me to interpret the elasticity coefficients of my factors of production in a really easy way. Let's have a look how. So, this is a Cobb Douglas production function given by this yi, okay, I rewrite this yi equals to 1.65 1.65 x 2 i raised to raised to the power 0.35 then x 3 i raised to power 0.89 over here. So, this is my Cobb Douglas production function. Let us say x 2 i is my labor and x 3 i is my capital. So, what are these things representing? If I take log over here, I am going to get log yi equals to log 1.65 plus 0.35 log x2i plus 0.89 log x3i. Now, what are they representing? 0.35 and 0.89. They are representing, since x2i is labor, it represents that whenever labor will change by 1 percentage, the output is going to change by 0.35 percentage. Similarly, 0.89 represents that whenever capital is going to change by 1 percentage, 
the output is going to change by 0.89 percentages over here. Now, I can also calculate the returns to scale using these elasticity coefficients over here. So, if in a Cobb Douglas production function, if I try to add my elasticity coefficients, right, if I try to add them and they are greater than 1, let's say, uh, if I want to journalize them, let us have a look here. Wait. Yi equals to A x2 i alpha x3 i beta. So if alpha plus beta is equal to 1, we have constant returns to scale. Alpha plus beta greater than 1, we have increasing returns to scale. And if alpha plus beta is less than 1, we are going to have decreasing returns to scale. So how easily with the help of elasticity coefficients, I can find out the returns to my scale. So these are some of the useful applications of my log linear model. If you find this video useful, please like this video, share this with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Also, we have videos on other functional forms of regression on YouTube as well as more videos on all of the functional form of regressions on our app. You can download that app to get access to all those videos. Thank you everyone for watching.